Karen Millspaw here, visibility consultant for public speakers and public figures. I want to share with you three reasons why your business needs you in the spotlight. Now, this is definitely for the leadership type, and this is even including those that just want to be leaders. I mean, we're all born with that desire in our hearts. It's just peeling back the layers to get the confidence to do it, right? So why does it even matter, Carrie? Why does my business need me in front of everyone else? What, you know, can I just hire people to get in there and so on? And that is where I want to get really, really crystal clear with all of you guys is that Overall, a brand is a person's face. You know, we think of um, lots of people, Steve Jobs, for example, who founded Apple. That's a huge brand. Even though he's passed on, we still remember him and what he stood for. So overall, I want to just give you permission because that's pretty much what it starts with, permission to shine on in your own business, which will create a bigger impact and a bigger income, okay? Success is always nice to have in your business. So with that being said, I want to go a little bit deep first before I give you the three reasons. Confidence is the number one factor I see missing in most of my clients. And I've been working in this industry for over a decade, working in the public speaking. Uh, I was a publicist for a well-known business owner that was global, owned the largest business coaching company. I've been in this industry a while, enough to where I see new people come in and I see a challenge. They want something, but there's this little little bridge that there seem to be missing it's and it looks scary it looks like a tightrope and it's called confidence and some of us jump right in because we were just born with this extra courage or we've learned at least look fear in the face and say not today i'm gonna do it anyway and then there's some of us that really second guess ourselves and it has a lot to do with your personality style and working with a coach maybe you're someone you know a support team that really truly believes in you but the challenge I would see was confidence, which is why I wrote my first book, Permission to Be Me, and then I'm writing my second book called Permission to Be All of Me, which is totally 100% about building you know, that confidence and the self-empowerment of females chases when starting a family, starting a relationship, starting a business, you know, those kind of areas. Um, sometimes we have to give ourselves permission to be shiny. There's some you know, old cluttered, belief stories in the background that show up. I'm one of five kids. I was always the bubbly one that talked too much. So you hear that in the background of your, you know, your belief system and the subconscious thought that will sabotage you from time to time. I will have this belief even on, on when I'm on stage speaking. Okay, Carrie, get to the point or they don't want to hear that story. I can hear the little voices and gremlins in my head saying, um, you're talking too much. Wrap it up, girl. You know, maybe they don't want to hear this part. And that's frustrating when that is your particular career choice is to work in communications, training, teaching, speaking all over the world, online and, you know, virtually, of course, and in person. So I had to overcome that. I had to overcome the just be quiet. Children should be seen, not heard, and just sit down and be quiet, you know, and, and you can listen to the company and the adults that come over, but you're not allowed to really speak up. You know, that yicky feeling as a kid. And I can, I don't blame my parents for treating us this way or disciplining us this way. They had five kids, okay? And there was a small house. I can only imagine the amount of noise <laughs> in that household. It's probably just to keep themselves sane. Now, another little thing that shows up too, not just lack of courage or lack of confidence, is the comparison trap. Right before you really want to shine in your business, you'll start to look and research and you'll you'll start to talk yourself right out of doing it. For example, um, maybe you see someone else that's posting videos in their business and their, biz their videos are better than anything you've got. You don't have that equipment. You don't have that right lighting. You don't have this magical you know, studio with a green screen and a, a video crew. Guess what? You got to start anyway. I started, oh gosh, eight years ago now, maybe nine, that, you know, literally with an iPhone on a tripod, that was the best we could do. And most of us are still doing video that way, okay? And you just do the best you can. I remember some of my first videos, I didn't have good lighting. I had, you know, a big shadow cast to the side and it looked like, you know, I don't know, Phantom of the Opera with like a mask on or something. It was just not pretty, but I did it anyway. And it's still buried in my YouTube somewhere. Okay. <laughs> 
just make the most of it and move forward. So no comparison. If you're going to look at anyone, get inspiration, get ideas. You can look at other people's video blogs or other ways they, they shine in their business. Maybe it's their photos or branding just to get inspired, but don't let it get you stuck. There's a big difference. Okay. No comparison. You are your own unique make and model. There is only one of you, one of you on this planet. The only one you should compete with is you yourself and being your best self. Okay. So reason number one that you need to shine in your business. Okay. Is people buy from people and those they know, like, and trust. You've all heard this a million times. Okay. This is nothing new, but you know, it's true. Okay. So think back to when you've bought something probably very expensive. I mean, even if it's a new car and you really like that dealership, you know, the person, the salesperson, or it was someone that sold your friend their car and they couldn't stop talking about them. So you went and got to know them. Next thing you know, you're buying a car from them too. Uh, a lot of the times, you know, it's, it's a coaching program or it's a seminar or some kind of retreat and it's super expensive, but you just love that person. You know, let's, let's just throw a name out there. Everybody knows Tony Robbins could be that. And you're like, I just love him. I've read all his books and I just can't wait to get there. He's your Messiah in your head, you know, not to, not to discredit Jesus because that's not what I'm about. And those that know me know I'm a devout Christian, but just kind of, you know, that thought process, someone you really admire, you'll spend the money, right? Cause you know, like, and trust them already. You have that relatability factor. If you're not putting yourself in the spotlight, such as in video or whether it's, um, be speaking more, more media appearances, you're not getting that PR side. And yes, I have a PR business. So obviously I believe a lot in that. Um, but oh, overall, I want you to get out there. I want you to be the face to the brand. I want people to relate to you. It's almost impossible to create a relationship with a brick and mortar building. The company I used to work for had its own business corporate brand and also had the owners. He had his own personal brand and the two were working well synergistically. People put a name and a face to the brand. And you can create that relationship. You can't do that with a building, right? Or some corporate domain on a website or so on. So be authentic, show us who you are and really let people connect and attach. Now, another great example is being influential. You know, look at all the Instagram influencers that are out there today. And it's not just on Instagram, it's on Facebook and other platforms too. YouTubers are huge for this. Okay. That platform's awesome. Great way to build a business and keep growing your content. I want you to think about what did you ever purchase from someone you follow? whether it's Instagram, YouTube, wherever, once they recommend a product, what's the first thing you're doing? You're swiping to get it. I'll swipe up or, or click here or wherever, or maybe you get an email that slides into your inbox and they say they recommend this product. And you're like, oh, well, if they wash their hair with this, then I should wash my hair with this. It's because you've already been following that person. They could recommend you to buy ice cubes and you would buy them. Okay. The key is that that's why that industry is so huge right now, you know, especially with the millennials, <laughs> no one wants to get a real job these days. It's super easy to build followers and then just sell someone else's business idea. Someone else's hard work just by smiling into a camera. Okay. It seems like they're cheating a little bit, but it works guys. Otherwise they wouldn't be doing it. Otherwise sponsor people wouldn't be using them for um, sponsorship. Those companies are looking for people with high followers and influential, um, following for that reason, they know they can sell. Celebrities are doing it all the time as well. Again, anyone with a large following. So it obviously works, right? Because the product could be just about anything under the sun, but as soon as they recommend it, they're selling out like hotcakes. Okay. So that is reason number one, people buy from people. That's why you need to get yourself out there, get your DNA out there. Okay. Reason number two is your energy is contagious. What you believe in, we will believe in. And if you don't show that side of yourself, you got to preach it. You got to come out there. Just like I believe you need to be the face of your business. The more you listen to me, the more you're going to realize I'm right. Cause I'm all, I'm already sold on it. Now I'm selling you same with your business. Maybe your product or service is the best thing on the planet. You've already tested and measured everything and you've researched your competitors and you are the best. Show us that don't just create and hide behind some fluffy marketing get out there, create a video about it. Um, get your video crew to come to your, you know, brick and mortar business. If that's what you have, 
get interviewed, get on the, get on TV, get the media to talk about you, connect, talk about it. When you believe in it, we will believe it too. Seriously, people are looking for leadership and inspiration. They're looking for leaders all the time. They want to follow somebody. They pick and choose who they want to learn from. You have to believe in your product or service first before we will. You can't sell us on something you don't believe in. I used to sell timeshare when I first moved to Las Vegas back in 2008, end of 2008, early 2009. And I didn't believe it. I never even stayed in a timeshare before. I liked the idea of staying in something that was more of a condo with, you know, with a bedroom with a door, and a kitchen. Sure, I've stayed in condos and I've stayed in, you know, things of that nature, but I never really truly stayed in, in one of our timeshares that I sold at the time for Wyndham. And I couldn't sell it. I had a hard time until I actually rented a room, got to stay in it, got to experience it firsthand my sales took off, okay? Because I, I didn't even believe what I was selling. So how's anybody else gonna believe that? Everything's energy, you know, if you give off that, I don't know, but please just buy from me, please, I'm so desperate. We're not gonna, we're not gonna, we're not gonna buy, you're crazy, okay? <laughs> we're not buying what you're selling. So you've gotta be bold. You've gotta really truly believe in what you're selling. Uh, my dad is a, um, I was a past minister to a church most of my life growing up. He is now in the jail ministry, just being around my dad. I'm already a believer, but I, I get so fired up even more when I'm just in his presence talking about God. It's like a fire is lit under me because he's so passionate about evangelism and reaching people. So it's just something like that. You know, you, you may not even be looking to buy supplements, but you get around somebody that's so involved and loves what they're selling. The next thing you know, you're buying your supply, right? And I'm sure it's happened to you too, okay? We're all, we're all guilty of that. So reason three that you need to shine in your business and get into that spotlight is leading a cause or a belief will create more leaders. Maybe your business is a multi-level marketing business. Maybe your business is that network marketing business. And the only way to bring in more leaders is to truly shine and be that leader in the first place. No different than uh, any other company. It doesn't have to be just that business model. Overall though, you want your company to grow. You want your business to grow. You want more leaders to step up and take your message out there. Even Jesus had 12 disciples, guys. You know, he knew he didn't, couldn't do it on his own. And those disciples kept going after he rose from the dead and resumed back to heaven, right? They kept going. That's why we have the religion Christianity today is because of those 12 apostles. So even he had disciples, create some discipleship in your own business, get some raving fans that are gonna keep spreading out the word of what you do. Marketing like that is nothing we can ever replicate in our business, our PR and marketing um, agency. I'm just stumbling over my words right now, but when you have other people out there that are true referrals, had true experiences, or really love your product or service, that type of marketing is phenomenal. That's a 100% close ratio every time. They're ready to buy when you say hello, okay? You pick up that phone or you answer that email, they're ready to buy. So leading with the cause and truly owning that, again, it goes back to believing when, what you're selling you're going to create more leaders that are gonna create more leaders that are gonna create more leaders that are gonna create more business for you. It all trickles up, okay? And again, it's not just the network marketing companies that I'm talking about. I'm talking about all business across the, across the board. So think about it, you know, more importantly, how much you believe in something. When I first started my wellness coaching or wellness consulting program, my daughter was just 10 months old, I think. Yeah, it was January 2015. 20, oh, 2005, good Lord. January, 2005, I got involved with a company called Juice Plus. Still take it to this day, don't actively sell it. But the reason why I got into it and started to create a downline, started to go back to school to get my nutrition degree and get study holistic nutrition all those years ago, which is 16 plus now, I could not, I take that back, 15 plus, I'm thinking of how old my daughter is. I couldn't get enough information about it. And I'll tell you why the person at the time that got me involved in Juice Plus, which again is a network marketing company, she was so passionate 
She had fibromyalgia, she had a lot of health issues, some autoimmune or disorders, and she had her health back. She felt so passionate about it because of what she was seeing, not just in her own health, but in others, her customers. The, the testing and measuring of all the scientific research out there was just blowing her mind. She was sharing it with me. And I thought, gosh, I'm gonna put on my super cape too and I'm gonna save the world. You know, I'm just put on my wellness coaching super cape and save the whole world. I wanted this power too. And that's what pulled me in. And I did that for quite a few years. The wellness coaching, of course, the supplements was something just to purchase on the side, but it was nice to have that in your toolbox to help other people. So again, leadership starts with actions, not words. The key is to lead by example, lead with actual action steps. If you want people to take up this leadership cross with you, you've got to be that person already. You've got to step into the spotlight. If you want your clients to do it, or you want, you know, customers to buy what you're selling, you've got to believe. And it starts with here. You've got to go inward first before you can go outward. Okay. You've got to shine for your business. And it really truly is an inside out job. You can't put all this smoke and mirrors out there and hope for the best, hope for a few sales and you will get some. And then something happens later where you're like, why isn't this working? Cause you don't believe it. We can feel your energy. If you're not buying it, we're not going to buy it. Okay. So see how, you know, self-help types of uh, programs work really, really well. I used to work very intimately with my clients and I still do on some of the head trash that shows up and the other belief systems and self-sabotage that we have in business. In fact, every new client that I take on, I always ask, are you holding yourself back? What's going on? Why don't you want to shine on the stage yet? Because your business needs you. I cannot shine for you. I can put out a lot of content for you, but if you're still holding back and the, and the inside, that energy is going to fight me and what I'm trying to do for your business. So I hope this inspires you to take a look at your business. What can I do today? Maybe it's video, maybe it's more speaking, maybe it's more media, maybe it's just more PR. Get your brand out there, get your face attached to it. Let people see the real you. Okay. Be authentic in your marketing. We relate to people that are real. We don't relate to people that are perfect. No one can quite relate to that person on the pedestal. You know, and I, I trip up over my words sometimes in my videos and guess what? I don't edit them out. My editor doesn't edit that out. No, I'm a real person. And I do do one take and I'm done and I send it off because I don't have a lot of patience for doing a ton of content. Oh, <laughs> that's just my driven personality. So I hope this helps you, okay? And if you need to reach out, you can go to my website, the link is below, and fill out a questionnaire if you want a free consult to see how you can shine better in your business too, okay? Big hugs, big love, guys. Bye.